Uh, welcome to the year Omanda Hobson, where real life's an option. The year lines that I spit make you realize you're not sick. Science at its finest, tell Bill not to watch it. Now turn this shit the fuck up till you feel how you're nauseous, yo. What's up, everyone? Got new shoes in the mail today, so you guys know it's a good day already. Got a smile on my face. Uh, it's three new pairs of the Nike Roshi Run. You guys already know that this is one of my favorite shoes, so let's get right into the three. First off, we have the Nike Roshi Run in dark royal blue, white, mint candy, and vault. I've got these in a size 10 and a half. These were purchased off of eBay. Let's get right into the review. All of this upper on the mesh is dark royal blue. You can see it's on both sides of the shoe. This dark royal blue mesh upper. Next up, you have a mint candy midsole as well as outsole. It may look white on the camera here, but it's actually mint candy. It's very similar. I think the mint candy is also the colorway used on the swoosh of the LeBron 9 Miami Vice, so there's a comparison for you guys. You also have mint candy in the liner, and then you have a white swoosh as well as a white swoosh on this side. And on all Roshis, I don't know why they do this, but I wish they would um, not stitch through the swoosh, but on both sides, on every Roshi, they actually stitch right through the swoosh. And then on the tongue, the pull tab is dark royal blue with a white swoosh. And last but not least, you have Volt popping off on that lunar insole. Finally, a blue Roshi that you can wear with just any blue clothes. It's not the NYX that has got that loud orange midsole that's really going to limit on what, what you can wear with it. This is a great colorway. They did use the new mesh material. It's not the old mesh on the regular Roshis, so there's just a heads up when purchasing these, but all in all, it's a really great shoe, and I love the colorway. Next up, we have another Nike Roshi run in charcoal, white, court purple, and vault. This is the first, well, actually the second Roshi to feature a gray upper, the other one being the mangoes, but that was a medium gray. This is charcoal, so it's a little darker, but you can see you have charcoal all along the mesh upper. I'm not sure how well the colors are picking up on my iPad right now, but this bottom outsole and the midsole right here is court purple, which is actually really, really like defined purple. It's darker, but it might show up a little blue on camera. I'm not really positive, but in person, it really is really defined purple. You you're not going to confuse it with any other color. You have a white swoosh on both sides. Your pull tab in the back is charcoal as well as the charcoal pull tab in the front on the tongue and you have a white swoosh on there and last but not least you have that vault lunar insole in there this might be my favorite of the three new ones that I picked up just because there hasn't really been a dark gray based Roshi yet and there hasn't been purple on any Roshis yet so this is a very special one for me at least I'm gonna get a lot of use out of this because I have always wanted a purple Roshi and then I didn't mention on the other Roshi but it comes with a Nike Korea tag with Nike Korea so this seller was very professional when he did this uh, very fast shipping, so thank you to that. But there's the second colorway. Last but not least, we have the third and final Roshi run in pure platinum, white, lemon twist, and vault. This is a really bright colorway. This will be great for the spring. I think I'm going to keep them dead stock until the spring and then break them out because they're very, very bright and loud. What you have is a pure platinum which really resembles the upper of the um, Platinum Easy 2's in my opinion. It's almost like, I want to say it's like almost the same material, but I don't have the Easy 2's to, in the Platinum colorway to like compare to, but it almost looks like it's 3M under certain light, but it, I know it's not, but 
it really reminds me of the Easy Two material that way. The colorway says white, but this swoosh, I'm, I, I want to say it's a little darker than the white on the other two Roshis I've showed you guys so far. But I will go with the box colorway and say that it's white, but it appears a little darker. On the back, you have a pure platinum pull tab, as well as a pure platinum pull tab on the tongue. And you have a white swoosh on there. Last but not least, you have your Volt Lunar insole, which is really insanely comfortable. And then you have this Lemon Twist outsole and midsole. It's, it's not even like a midsole and outsole really on a Roshi. It's really just one big giant sole. So that's what you have. You have Lemon Twist. And I believe Lemon Twist is the same color that um, is used on the Kobe 7 Barcelona. The yellow colorway on the inside, I think that's Lemon Twist at least. Correct me if I'm wrong. But if you have those, that's a little comparison to know what, what color this actually is. The other two colorways will be pretty good for winter. They're both darker colorways, but this one's really, really bright. So this will be a good one for the spring. Yeah, like I already pointed out, the mesh on these, the mesh, it's a lot less breathable and a little stiffer than the mesh on previous Roshis. So like, Foamer, I know you have a pair of Roshis, I don't know, not many other people that I know that make videos have them, but I know Foamer has them. Um, this material is a lot different than the material that's on the next pair that you have, Foamer. Um, I have like every other colorway with the regular mesh on them, and I love them. I love the old mesh. This is a little newer, it's a little stiffer, a little harder, less breathable. So it might take a little more time to break in and you, you might not like it as much as the mesh on the NYX Roshis which are a great colorway and I love the material on the older Roshis so yeah you guys uh, just leave me some feedback if you like these Roshi videos I'll keep putting them out because I plan on getting more colorways as upcoming uh, pictures are being leaked and all this kind of stuff um, I'm very involved with the Roshi community on Nike Talk on the Roshi page, I'm on Team Roshi, and on Facebook with uh, Team Roshi, so shout out to you guys if you're watching this. I also have one more Roshi coming in the mail that's on the way. It's a women's colorway. Team Roshi knows what it is already, so when that comes in, I'll do a video on those probably, and then I'll probably make a video on my uh, Roshi Run collection, so stay tuned for that. Shout out to the BB fam, uh, Roshi fam, anyone else that's watches my videos, leaves comments, supports me. I have a major grail that's already here. The only person that knows what those are are my friend Kyle, my friend Peter, and Javier, Baez, Logan J. Those are the only three people that know that I have those and that have gotten them. So I might make a video now and, or I might wait a little bit, like a month or two months to make a video on those, but I only know like one other person that has them. Uh, so that should be an exciting video. I, I'm really excited that I have them. But yeah, leave me some feedback. Leave a comment. Subscribe if you haven't already. It doesn't cost anything. You don't have to. I mean, if you don't like my videos, then you don't have to subscribe. But I try to support and watch as many people's videos as I can. So if you want to take the time, leave a comment. Um, give me some feedback. I love seeing comments. That's my number one thing. Subscribers don't really like mean a lot to me in numbers I just like seeing comments and feedback on my video so if you can leave me something peace check out this verse I wreck I think I'm a cursed and blessed no one seems to know if my brain's the result of birth defect I need a solution pastors tell me that church is best but they'll look at me devilish cause I'm out there interpret death everybody's always acting fake rappers I hate be asking to collaborate it's sad to say but it's the truth that instead of trying to congratulate they got their hands out like we playing the game of patty cake but that ain't what I focused on the day I step up in the lab with a cell out of be the day y'all hope is gone the game's filled with a bunch of faggots who don't belong always claiming they real niggas but I ain't noticed more